their third meeting of the season. Yet again, the Sydney Derby delivered an intense and riveting encounter where the quality of football matched the atmosphere. Now, what a great contest that was, Bozzer. It really ebbed and flows, and both teams are really battling to find that winning goal. Yeah, enthralling encounter. Um, I thought West Sydney Wanderers started the better of the two sides, uh, got that early goal, and, uh, and probably had should have finished it off, except for a wonderful save then by veteran Yenjedevic to make it 2-0. But Sydney, fair played and really came back into the game and created some really good chances as well. Matty Simon hit the crossbar and Liam Reddy was called into action with that save from David Carney. Deservedly got their equaliser. And second half, I thought Sydney were the better side and really should have went on to win the game. Um, but both coaches, Tony Popovich and Graham Arnold, can take a lot of plaudits for the, the way their teams played. Graham Arnold as well, for specifically for changing the way he played, going 4-4-2 with the diamond in the midfield. I thought that was very brave considering what they've been going through recently. And Tony Popovich as well, after getting beaten 5-2 last week, there would have been some doubts and some questions and they had the courage to change, their, change his goalkeeper, which came off. Um, I thought both coaches deserve a lot of credit and especially the players. It was absolutely outstanding. Yep, both, uh, both sides did have a fair share of chances, Ned. The Wanderers more so on the first half, as Bozza mentioned, and then it kind of switched and went Sydney FC's way. Talk to me about mm. the chances. Well, certainly, and I, I thought the Wanderers lost their way a bit in that second half. I really thought they dominated the midfield um, in that first period, and obviously uh, they did sit a bit deep at times, and you saw that chance there from Matty Simon. But, um, you know, I think the fact that... Um, and this was, this was a great opportunity here for... For Vidicic, the fact that you've got guys like Andrea and Dimas, who, who at times are really running the show, and then opening up spaces for for guys like Vidicic and Bridge as well, who made a great run before that first goal, um, and then the fact that after half time you had a Sydney team that was was really throwing a lot forward and making it difficult for the Wanderers to play out. So obviously they did create a few opportunities. I mean, this was a, another beautiful combination play here uh, from a set piece. Uh, obviously difficult here to finish, but um, you saw some really good signs in the second half where Sydney were actually stringing a few passes together and they've really struggled in that department um, in the last few weeks. And, and even in that first half, I mean, the Wanderers were working their way forward and throwing a lot of numbers forward. And you saw a lot of turnovers from Sydney because they were basically under pressure, didn't have the quality to play out, were knocking long balls and, and the Wanderers are winning everything. And there was a bit of niggle in the game as well, Cosy, between Liam Reddy and Matt Yerman, which uh, escalated quite quickly. Handbags, to be honest. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> that's a bit... Um, that's a, that's a, a flashback in time. Yeah. Oh, it, it wasn't necessary for Liam to do that, but did Matty have to react that badly as well? Look, it's in a game like this where there's so much at stake, mm. um, you'll take an opportunity like that to get in your opponent's face. Mm. Um, and I mean, you talked about it last night was a, um, at half time how the Wanderers were dominant pretty Before much up moment. until then and yeah. that's allowed then Sydney to to maybe mm. fire up a bit it's delayed mm. the restart and it's you know there's a bit of a melee mm. and so then all of a sudden psychologically Sydney have have got a bit of wind in their sails mm. and mm. the Wanderers have gone on the back foot a bit because um, I mean both players got booked in the end yeah um, I mean, Liam Reddy ready done, for what I, he did. I thought Liam yeah. Reddy played really well. Oh, he had a great game. Yeah, but, uh, but that was just silly and it was petulant. And, and it, it, for me, it did. The momentum changed a little bit after that. For whatever reason, uh, the momentum changed. There's no need for him to do that at all. How would you have reacted as a player? If, uh, <laughs> I you would have done exactly what Matty Jordan did. Exactly the same thing.